Hey there friends, it's Megan Andrew and today I'm going to be sharing how I created this yay layout using amazing Concord and Ninth products from the spring 2022 issue of Scrapbook and Cards today. Let's get started. I have a single photo of my son here and it's sized at four inches by four inches. I'm gonna create an eight and a half inch by 11 inch layout, but I wanna frame it. So I just slightly cut that down. So I cut off a half an inch on either side of the white cardstock there. And I am framing that with black cardstock. So I'm just getting an idea of what I want to do with my stamps. And the beauty of clear stamps is that you can lay them on your project to get an idea of how big, how much space they're taking up. I'm using the Hip Hip Hooray stamp set here from Concord and Ninth. This stamp set includes some really big yay words um, that you can layer up. So you have a shadow, you have an outline, you have a background, and then you have these dots that go in the center. And it's a really cool stamp that you can make it look different every time you stamp. So I'm using a gum eraser on the entire stamp here to really prime it and get it ready to go. I love using a gum eraser because it really takes all the excess uh, manufacturing oils off of your stamp and gets it primed and set to go. I'm pulling out a few different colors here. Uh, sea glass, I'm pulling out poppy, buttercup, and sorbet. Um, those are the colors that I'm gonna kinda use on this layout. And this layout is about my son's first birthday party. Um, and so it's a birthday themed layout. All of our issue this month is all about birthdays uh, because it is SCT Magazine Sweet 16, so we're really excited about that. So I am stamping directly on my layout background. I'm using the large MISTI tool here so that I can make sure that I get a really good stamped image. And that means that I can ink it up several times to get you know that ink really saturated on my image. Now if you are way too nervous to stamp directly on your layout background, then you have options. You can stamp onto white cardstock, die cut it out, and then adhere it to your layout. But I really wanted to try this and do it um, to create almost a like a patterned background for myself. Now see here I am going in with these little dots in the center of the alphas and I'm using buttercup to do that. But I just love how you can mix and match the different colors um, on this stamp to get a different look every time. And you'll see that every time I do the yay word, I'll switch up the order of my colors to make it look different. One really awesome tip that I have here, you can see that my magnets are covered with washi tape and that helps to be able to pick them up. Um, so you create kind of a little tab with your washi tape there to be able to grasp your magnets and pick them up off of your platform. So this one here is the shadow um, and this, this, this shadow goes on the inside of the letters. It's actually really cool. I used a piece of white cardstock there to try out a couple of different colors to see what I liked. And in the end, I just decided to go with sea glass and I'm stamping it multiple, multiple times. And you can see there that you can see that shadow. It's just gonna create kind of a tone on tone effect. Whereas if I would have chosen a darker color, like Oceanside, which is a really deep teal, it would have looked completely different. So that just gives it a more subtle effect. So I'm going down to the bottom of my layout. I started at the top. Now I'm going down to the bottom of my layout because I want to see how much room I have in the center for my photo and possibly another yay word. I just want to make sure that I can um, get my paper you know, magnetize down here so that my stamp doesn't come up when I pull up the platform. So that's why I moved my paper up slightly here. So on this one I'm doing sea glass on the outline of the yay word 
I have one bit of my A there that I really need to push a bit harder on. <laughs> that happens sometimes. And they do make special tools for these platforms that help you to push down if it's hard on your wrist. So um, you'll have to uh, check out one of those if you have issues with your wrist. But I do love the large MISTI tool for layouts for this kind of thing. If you are stamping a background this tool is is just a great one to have on hand. Now I'm going on the inside of my alpha with buttercup there and then I'm going to use sorbet for my dots. So instead of going in there with poppy which is a really kind of uh, bright red I'm doing sorbet so it's not not so red. I really love the way that this yay works and you know each one looks a little bit different um, and it's it really makes this layout really fun and playful um, so here I'm just getting an idea of how much room I have to play with because on this one uh, what I'm going to do is is die cut this yay word so that it kind of overlaps my photo and what I wanted to do there was to see if I needed to print a smaller photo um, because I didn't want that yay word to overlap too, too much and, and cover up uh, too much of my photo. So on this yay word, I'm doing buttercup for the outline. And then I'm going to the inside with poppy. So this one is going to be the most bold and my reasoning for that is it's going to be the one closest to my photo. So one thing, if you've ever taken any of my classes um, here at Scrapbook and Cards today, I am all about emphasizing what's most important on your page and for this layout the most important thing is that photo of my son taken right before he, um, he blew out his first birthday candles. And so I really want this word that's going to be overlapping that photo to be the most bold thing on the page so that it leads your eye directly to the photo. Now I'm going in the center of these with sorbet on those dots. This stamp is extremely easy to line up so you know you don't have any issues whatsoever with lining it up. I found it so easy to work with and Concord and Ninth stamps are amazingly high quality stamps so you will not be disappointed by these stamps. They're wonderful. So I'm doing the shadow on the interior in Poppy again. Just did that two times. Every time you layer up your colors it you know it adds a bit more of that depth and I realized here that I forgot to do uh, the same with buttercup so I'm going back to add that shadow on the inside of the the buttercup interior look how cool that looks it just really gives it a three-dimensional quality and I just I just love that so now I'm using the hip hip hooray dies here to cut out the word. I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Revolution Machine to do that. It has this magnetic plate which I love and my die cutting machine is slightly off camera <laughs> so just doing that. Look how great that looks. It's just super fun. I really love the stamp set and you know you can use this for cards uh, and it'll make a really bold card but it is so fun to do this on a layout. Look how how great that is. I just love it. I love that slight overlap on my photo there. Now I'm grabbing a uh, paper stack from Ellie Studio because I want just a little bit of pattern behind my photo just to give it a little bit of pattern, a little bit of color that helps it to stand out even more. So I'm just getting a feel for what patterns would work here. There are so many in this um, Celebrate paper stack that would definitely do the trick. Um, this yellow here from LA Studio matches really well with the Buttercup 
from Concord and Ninth. So I really love that. Just wanted to make sure that my pattern was the same on both sides of my photo. You can never go wrong with a classic polka dot, right? Look how cute that looks. And do you see there how that red yay really pops on that photo? I just love it. I'm also layering this again um, with uh, some of the, it's aqua sky. So I'm layering that again with aqua sky. And then just deciding if I want to add a journaling tag here, where I'm going to put my journaling, because that's another important part of the process for me is adding my journaling to the page so I can record what is happening in the photo. Take a look at the solid cardstock. So I have aqua sky here. Sorry, I kept saying sea glass before. It's actually aqua sky. Um, poppy. I have buttercup. And then I have sorbet. Aren't they the most delicious colors? I just love them. And I'm using this banner metal die. It cuts two at a time, which I love. Thank you so much, Concord and Ninth, for giving us two at a time because that, that's a huge time saver. And I'm just cutting um, two of every color because you can't have a party without some banners. And as you can see in the photo, uh, we had a huge banner hanging up behind my son in the photo. So, you know, I love when things on your layout really tie into what's happening in the photo and this is um, this is one of them for sure. So the, these fun uh, banners will kind of lead your eye over to the photograph and then I will put my journaling, I will print it and put it at the bottom, um, the bottom left hand corner of the layout. I always love having a place to add the date and so I grabbed a little um, label to put there in my my photo mat and then I want to go in here with some contrast and so I'm adding some black stars. This is also from the Hip Hip Hooray stamp set, that sweet little star and I'm just stamping a few of those on my layout background. That just you know ties in the frame of the layout to the center of the layout. Um, I also have black in my photo so I wanted to get that black on my layout somewhere. The other thing that I want to do is add this row of stars to m some of my banners. So I'm not going to put them on every single one. I'm pretty much doing every other and I'm just using the same color cardstock as ink to add that tone on tone effect, just give it a little bit of interest. So just a super fun way to add a special touch uh, to those banners. It doesn't take long at all and um, it just makes it look a little bit more special. I am popping up my photo here with adhesive, with dimensional adhesive so that it can you know, stand off of the page. You'll also notice that I use my sewing machine to sew my banners to the layout. And I had a few extra, so I decided to add a third banner as well. And they really draw your eye over to that photo. And then you have that big, bright and bold yay word there on top of the photo that really brings your eye directly to it. Now look at these beautiful um, enamel dots from Concord and Ninth. They match the colors perfectly. And so I'm just going to add a few of these white ones to give you that tone on tone bit of texture to the layout. Because I have so much color happening here, I don't want to add a lot more color to the page. I just want to add a few little speckles here and there. So I'm grabbing um, the poppy, um, and and just adding a few little dots here. I just love, love the way that this has turned out. The last thing I want to add here is the date using the Daily Tabs stamp from LA Studio. I'm just going to add the month and the year because obviously I know my son's birthday um, and so I just want to keep it simple and add the month and the year here so it has that nice 
typewritten font that matches my journaling and I just love everything about this page. That awesome Hip Hip Hooray stamp set from Concord and Ninth just made such a big wow factor on this page um, and I, I just love how it sets the tone for this um, celebration on a layout. Hope you guys enjoyed this process video and you'll give this kind of layout a try, especially using these awesome Concord and Ninth products. Thanks so much for watching and happy creating.